Is Pete Davidson actually funny? Let's find out. Pete Davidson. I'm going to be realistic off top, man. Until this whole Kanye, uh, Kim Kardashian thing came up, I never really, like, thought about him. I'll put it to you like that. But we do honor comedy on this channel. I seen his name, and I was like, it would be pretty interesting for me to look him up. So let me know about Pete Davidson. Let me know his history. Give me all the backstory in the damn comments so I could keep up with what's going on and uh, any suggestions that you got. Uh, we have something of him right now called Realistic Weed Commercials. Uh, and that's it. Make sure you guys smash that like button. I really need to get 5,000 likes or better on this video so I can go viral, all right? So without further ado, let's get right into it. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Welcome to Just for Laughs All Access. How are you? You good? Nice. It's nice to be here. Does Montreal have a big beef with Toronto? Yeah. Why? Is it because they say, yeah, I don't understand. I said the last, the last, I thought your savior uh, of Canada was from Toronto. Uh, your Drake. <laughs> your fucking half handsome fucking savior. I, yeah, I thought he was running through here with, with his woes through here. <laughs> You know what sucks about that song? When I first heard it, and he was talking about running through the six with his woes, I actually thought it was dope. I was like, wow, that's really cool. Uh, and then I found out woes uh, meant friends. Not so fucking cool anymore. <laughs> Why don't you just say friends? <laughs> running through the six with my friends. <laughs> I'm like, all right, yeah. Yeah, I thought, I thought woes, I thought he was like sad. So he's like running through the six with his sadness. And that's just what he calls his fucking stupid friends. <laughs> Sorry, I've been smoking weed all day because your city does not give a fuck for some reason. It's amazing. They don't care at all. They like it, they cheer it on. Like I went to hide it and, he, and one of the cops was like, this place is awesome. We have, a, I'm a, I live in Brooklyn. We have anti-weed commercials. We have anti-weed, and they're all- I'm from the East Coast as well. If any East Coasters let me know in the building. Terrible. They're all really bad, and I know it's cliche to say, but to paint a picture for you, there's a couple of them. One of them uh, is a very famous one. There's a girl, and she's with her friend, and her friend is the couch. <laughs> and, then, uh, and then she goes, uh, my friend's a little different. And I go, yeah, yeah, she's, she's a couch now. <laughs> she didn't smoke weed and turn into a couch. Like, it wasn't... She, it, she cut a hole in the couch and then took all the stuff out and then, like, got in and put her head out. <laughs> you just have a dumb friend. That's all. I've never taken a hit of a joint and been like, well... <sighs> <laughs> Fucking just slither in there. Um, another, another famous weed commercial we have, there's like a bunch of kids at a basketball court, and these thugs go up to this little nerdy kid, and they're like, yo, man, you want to smoke weed? <laughs> Which I've never been intimidated into smoking weed. Nobody's ever yelled at me. I've always been like, hey, fuck face. You want to smoke weed? It's always been like, like, that's it. It's as far as it goes. So thugs go up to a little kid and they're like, yo, man, you want to smoke weed? And this little kid goes, I don't smoke weed. I smoke fools like you on the b-ball court. <laughs> I'm just sitting there high like, what a dumb kid. You could do both. I don't understand that. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. His pace is a little slow. I mean, some comedians have the big finish off, but, you know, the pace is a little slow. Uh, let me know what y'all feeling about it, but so far it is a little slow paced. It's, it's all right so far. It's all right. He goes, I don't smoke weed. I smoke fools like you on the b-ball court. <laughs> I'm just sitting there high like, what a dumb kid. You could do both. I don't understand that. <laughs> I don't have a 
problem with anti-weed commercials. There are negative side effects to weed. It's just like, you should just make real ones. Like, use me and my friend. Like, I'd make anti-weed commercials where it's just me and my friend, and I'm on the couch, and my friend's like, yo, Pete. <laughs> yo, Pete. Yo, what? Weed. That's the whole entire commercial. <laughs> Very low budget. Very low budget. And then a follow-up commercial. Me and my buddy are at the mall, and my, and my friend's like, oh, a croc store. <laughs> and I go, I heard they're mighty comfortable. <laughs> and then we buy crocs. Weed. That's the entire fucking commercial. What really low that? budget. Really low budget. <laughs> I, uh... Recently got a clean bill of health. My dick's good. Uh, really happy with that. You know that feeling, sir. You clapped right away. <laughs> He's like, oh! Are you like me? Anytime I see a mark on my dick, I'm like, oh, there it is. There it is. I got it. I always think I got, it's always, and it's always something little. It's always like I jerked off and like didn't wash. <laughs> and then like something's gonna happen. You know, like if you fucking eat cheese doodles all day and then fucking play with your balls and then you don't shower, like, there's repercussions for that. You can't do that. No, I, uh, I got, I went to, I go to free clinics. Do you have free clinics out here? You have free healthcare, so all of you are fucking, I don't have to wear a condom with anybody. <laughs> That's what that means, right? <laughs> no, whore. Anyway, uh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> do you, uh, you ever go to a free clinic, man? No? Just uh, hoping the Lord takes care of you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Some guys be like, I just don't want to know. Oh, <laughs> like, no. what? I, I go to a free clinic, they prick your finger to test you for AIDS, and then they just give you a number. They give you a number, and then you sit down with a bunch of other people that had fun yesterday, and then you, fucking, <laughs> then you wait for them to just call out your number and say yes or no. Like AIDS bingo. You oh, just sit there. No. Literally, someone will get on the mic and be like, 33? No. 33 is like, <laughs> mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> One time I had this guy, he tested clean, and he came out of the office, and he went, I fucked her in my car with no condom. Nothing. And he ran out. <laughs> the greatest thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> in my car. Fuck you. You see number 34, like, shaking, freaking out. It's been seven no's in a row. <laughs> Two for a yes. No. They won't tell you you have AIDS. They'll be like, 34? Come back here, please. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Hope you like charity. <laughs> oh, nobody got that. That's okay. I don't make any noise when I have sex. It's partly because I'm uncomfortable, uh, but I don't. I'm very quiet. Like, you could read The Night Before Christmas when I have sex. <laughs> it's dead silent. I don't even make noise when I come. When I come, I'm just kind of like... <laughs> I come like a baby registering something for the first time. You ever, like, show a baby, like, the sunset for the first time? They're all like... What material did you expect? <laughs> Honestly, coming to see at 21, did you think I was gonna have opinions? Like, actual things? Really? I don't know anything about politics. I have no idea, and it wouldn't Me even either. work here, because you don't have what we have in America, which is, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I try to get into politics, but I can't. Every time I turn on CNN, the guy's like, the Senate! I'm like, I can't fucking do this. I, uh, <laughs> we have a Senate now? <laughs> I've been hanging out with my grandpa a lot. It's weird, my grandpa sleeps over on Tuesdays because he goes to this place called the Knights of Columbus. Uh, I don't know if you have them out here. If you don't know what it is, it's like a, it's like a club for old men uh, where they just go and slowly like die together each week. <laughs> and they have like matching shirts and they go together and they just die together. And he sleeps over uh, when he goes there because he gets trashed with his buddies. And I don't like when he sleeps over because my grandpa sleeps in death position. Oh, no. Like, he sleeps like this. <laughs> and 
Old people don't breathe in their sleep. Like, they don't. They don't breathe like us. They breathe, like, at the last second. Because their body's like, oh, I'm going to die <laughs> if I don't yell. So it's not even like a breath. It's like a, a yelp. It's weird. Like, a normal person sleeps like this. Like, a normal person is usually like... <clears throat> My grandpa does this. <laughs> and it's really hard to jerk off when that's going on downstairs. <laughs> uh, I'm going to be honest. It was slow at first, and then um, he picked it up. You know, I like fast-paced comedy, bro. Just be savage. Make me cry. Make tears come out my eyes. Boogers come out my nose because I'm just laughing so hard because you're just so hilarious. Um, he did pick it up at the end, and it was all right. You know, um, I've never really gotten into Pete Davidson at all. Um, like I said, I would love to have suggestions from y'all. And I want to know what y'all feel about this one right here. Was it good? Was it not good? Uh, leave a comment. Let me know that. Um, we're at 48,000 on this channel on our way to a million subs. Make sure you sub up, um, and I'll see you on the next one.